All right, now here's how you're going to make that rain material that you saw in the other tutorial. You take your texture sample that has the rain texture on it, and you plug that into emissive. And then you need to set blend mode down to translucent, and lighting model to unlit. Um, now you can see though, this still looks black, and you, you can't see through it, and the uh, rain is really chunky. So what you're going to do is you take the uh, alpha and plug that into opacity. Um, now I, I set up alpha on, on mine, but if you didn't, then you could also uh, try one of the other channels. It might not look as nice though, so just plan ahead when you're making your texture. Now, it's as simple as this then to uh, actually get it in there and working. You can just plug in a panner and have it pan in the Y position. Um, one of the other things you might want to do is uh, put in a, a coordinate depending on, on how big your texture is. So, I mean, it really just depends on how you want to do it. The other material that you saw in the other tutorial was a little bit more complex, but it was the exact same thing. It was just, um, so you can see here I've, I've got like textures added together and everything and that'll drain the GPU usage a little bit. So just uh, think ahead and um, uh, it, it's probably safe just to go with the simpler approach that I just showed you.